In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, table variables in T-SQL right from this uh, query window. And because a table variable is just like any other variable, it's a little more elaborate because it has fields and so forth. It's two-dimensional. It's not just like a chunk of data, like a single shot. <coughs> that variable, <coughs> excuse me, it's um, basically what's happening is, think about it as it's, it's in memory. It's not written to disk ever, nothing like that. So basically, the lines that are going to get executed when I hit, you know, the execute or F5, what have you, basically these, these terms are all going to be interpreted. And then there's, once it's done, it's finished and it's, it just, it goes poof and it's completely gone. Therefore, let me hit execute. Now, as you'll notice, it did everything it was supposed to. I declared the table and then down here, I'm doing an insert into the table, referencing the fields and then saying what I'm selecting from another table to put into it. And then lastly, I did the select. But get this, if you were doing this with uh, selecting stuff into a temp table, you wouldn't be able to run this again because the table already exists in the database. There's actually, I'll say a hard table, it's really a temporary table, but it is persisting right now. It would be in the temp database um, until you close the query window or do something else to kill the connection. But here, the fact that, that was created a second ago, nobody remembers, we remember, but the computer, it just could care less. Like, watch this. Every time I do it, it doesn't get in the way of the subsequent times. It's kind of like whatever was on the chalkboard got erased before we did anything else. So this is all very, um, it, it, it's, it's just basically the difference between saving something to disk, if you will, or just having a variable, like any other variable, like an int or a varicare. It just goes poof when you're done with it. That may seem like not a big advantage, but when you're doing stuff with a lot of things and you're looping and you're doing this and that, and you don't want to run a stored procedure uh, several times, or if you don't want to run pieces of code over and over again and have them try to reference things that have already been built, it'll save you a lot of time. Um, so basically, you never have to use the drop table for these. As a matter of fact, let me just uh, show you something. Uh, I have something down here a couple of inches. If I wanted to put drop table at the end, you figure, well, maybe this might work. You know, it's unnecessary, but maybe it'll work. Let's just see what happens. But you see, it doesn't even compute. Because it's just, you know, you're just not really dropping a table. It's a, it's a, it's a variable of a table data type, but it's not the same thing as a table, like when you're dropping a hard table. They're two different animals. So not only do you not need to use drop table with a table variable, whereas you would with a temp table. Haha. <laughs> um, I like table variables better, can you tell? But you also can't drop a table variable. That's that's how ephemeral they are. That, that's how like not really here they are. They're just they're just in memory, and you know it's kind of like as soon as they're gone, SQL has Alzheimer's. So anyway, uh, that's basically why you don't have to drop table with your table variables.